What is up and welcome back for another video. Thank you for clicking, let's get started. Now I did not think we would be back here so soon, but here we are for a brand new Zara video. Oh. This young woman just continues to feed us. We have to stand. This week, basically out of the blue, she dropped the summer edition of Poster Girl. There are six new songs on this album and we are going to listen to them today. I've already done a full album reaction for the rest of Poster Girl. So if you haven't seen that video, you should check that out as well. There are two brand new songs on this version and four new versions of songs we already had. Did I say that right? Two brand new songs, four new versions of old songs. Yes. I haven't heard any of it yet. I haven't heard sh so let's get into it. This is my reaction for the summer edition tracks of Poster Girl by Zara Larson, and we're going to get started right now. The first new track is called Morning. No, I'm scared. I know where we're headed. I know where we're headed. It's already upsetting me. Ugh. Okay, well at least she's being smart about it. Don't talk that out while you're drunk. Don't tell don't do that. Or maybe you should though. You know, sometimes all it takes is a nice drunken heart to heart. Sort some things out. On the other hand, sometimes you say a lot of things that you don't really mean or wish that you didn't say when you were drunk. But you can't, you can't not. You can't just not. This all sounds good in theory, but we all know you don't have this much control or this type of mindset while you're drinking. If you're drunk, you're not gonna be like, oh, this isn't the time. You're gonna be like, this is the absolute best time to put it all out there. I have never seen a drunk person show this much restraint. This is a scam. <laughs> A vibe, but a scam. Anyone who can process their emotions like this while intoxicated, I don't think that exists. That's like the whole point of drinking is to not process your emotions the right way. <laughs> the actual song is great though. It's so funny to me that she decided to release a summer edition. Her last album was a summer album for me. And then when this album came out a couple months ago, I was like, oh, this is gonna be my summer album again. She knows, she knows she's a summer album girl. Or maybe she heard me say it and she released this just for me specifically. That's probably it. Next new song is called Last Summer. A part of me did think that this was going to be a cover of Last Summer by ABBA. <laughs> Because I know that she cited them as a reference for this album. Clearly it is not. I kind of got my hopes up. That's okay. Hashtag summertime sadness. So when she said summer edition, I was thinking like pool party and this is a little more like crying by the pool. Zara, are you okay? An ultimatum. Ooh. Wow, I really love this one. Oh, f***ing summer. I like that part. She consistently gives us such catchy choruses and we're not appreciating that enough. Like some of the most fun choruses in pop right now, in my opinion. All right, so those are the new tracks. They're both sad. Is she okay? Has anyone checked on her? But we're gonna move on to the live version of I Need Love featuring First Aid Kit. Oh, 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 I need love. Oh, that I found love for. Maybe I was wrong. Wow, truly has such a different feel than the original version. I was excited when I saw there was a live version on here because she really has such a great voice and I'm glad to see that being showcased. Wow, 
smooth her voice together? Okay. <gasps> so what we learned from this, she should probably just put out an entire live acoustic album um, as soon as possible would be great. When you make the type of pop music that she makes, it's really easy for like her vocal abilities, I think, to be overshadowed by everything else that goes with it. But when you take all of that away, she is an excellent singer. More live shit, please. It's what the people want. All right, this is the orchestral version of Ruin My Life. I'm very excited for this one. Hey, Alisamans. Hey, Siri, what did she just say? Okay. I'm wondering why they chose to call this orchestral instead of just calling it live. When I saw orchestral, I thought there wouldn't really be like any production. I thought it would just be live instruments and her. So not quite what I expected, but let's keep listening. Oh, there's the orchestra. I hear it. Oh. Oh. What, in the Space Mountain? Wow, wow. Holy sh Okay, so obviously I take back what I said. <laughs> I understand why it's called the orchestral version now. Love, 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 love. I'm such a big fan right now of live instrumentation on like any song. She gave us an entire Disneyland ass outro. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. There was such a passion and an intensity in her voice live. I felt that. Okay, very obsessed with that. Let's move on to the orchestral version of Never Forget You. Now I'm scared. Hey. The drama. Ooh. These chimes? I'm ready for her to go off. I'm ready for her to sing. I'm ready for her to sing. Ah. it up. F*** it up, orchestra. F*** it up, vocals. Wow. That was just absolute wreckage. Literally everyone was just going off. I think I take back what I said about the live album, and I think I would prefer an orchestral album. <laughs> Her voice sounds so good with an orchestra. Like, I'm about to call Broadway right now and let them know. Poster Girl, the musical. I would like to see it. Did I say I was gonna call Broadway? Like they just have an office or something you can call? Okay, that was epic. Absolutely epic. And I kind of want to listen to it again, but let's just hear this last one. All right, last new song on the summer edition is the Right Here remix, the Alok remix. Did I say that correctly? I'm so glad she picked this song to do a remix for, because if you watch my original video, you already know this is my song. It's still my song. Nothing has changed. Let's hear it. It was so short. Honestly, I think I'd probably prefer the original version of this song to this remix, but I'll literally stream any version of it, so. All right, and that brings us to the conclusion of this video. Overall thoughts, really, really obsessed with the orchestral versions. I love the two new songs. I think that I wish that there were maybe more new songs, but we don't complain around here. We take what we are given and we say thank you and we run with it. It kind of feels like there's a lot going on. If nothing else, it just makes me feel like she has so much more room to experiment and try new things. And we could potentially see that on the next album. As always, be sure to let me know in the comment section below how you're feeling, what you thought about these songs. That's just about gonna wrap it up for this one. As always, I would like to thank you so much for watching. Please take care of yourself and I will see you next time.